We're going to open up with a uh, special plague asks. Oh, hey! It's been man, a while. What's going on? Right, okay. Hey! Yeah, he's still putting up the fence. He got really mad at me after last week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's why he's making that fence. Yeah, plague, plague asks. Uh, it's, it's a way more generalized one this time, and I think it's almost out of frustration than it is out of curiosity. Oh, oh yeah. But plague <laughs> is just like, yo, like, well, what, what is the best kind of protagonist you can have? Um,. And like and like he he mentioned like personality, physical design, etc. And I'm like, okay, well, that's broad. Like, I'm like, we're not going to design your character for you, Plague. But no. there are a lot of things a that suck when they are in place. Because yeah. I like I, I have things that I like. This would be a cool thing for a character, and I don't want to spoil that. Yeah, but I, mm. but there are things that suck when okay. characters have them. N- number one, the thing that bothers me the most about any protagonist is they need to have a certain level of competency. Having a dumb main character, just actually stupid, a character that you are looking at their actions in a game that you cannot control, and you are going, stop that! You're so stupid! This is the worst thing you can... You are allowed, exactly, and and to, to elaborate on that, you are allowed to have characters that don't understand the setting or world they're in and need... But if they're actually context. idiotic. But if they yeah. can't figure it out once, you know what I mean, pieces mm-hmm. are being put together, then fuck, that is the worst, that's Let, garbage. The line, um, the line on that is riding in MGS2, in which he is clueless about what's going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he does display a level of competency at sneaking yeah, and definitely. fighting and figuring it out once it's explained to him. Any dumber than Raiden is unacceptable. That to bio. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Uh, I, I God, think, shut up. Fuck you. I think one of the most important <laughs> things about a character is they should surprise you. Um, and if a character isn't succeeding at surprise you, surprising you, then I don't think that they're well, a successful character. You mean you're, you're not a there's, big fan of rigid archetypes? It's, no, it's um, the kind of thing like Wonder negative. Red, where I really liked Wonder Red a lot. And then when the, the reveal with his story came around and it surprised me, yeah. I was like, he's way better than I expected. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. A we talked and, about and, that recently, yeah. Being able to build your character up in a way that actually surprises the user or or viewer or whatever, yeah. I think is the most imp- like one of the most important things. Well, surprise like in a Kotor. positive way though, because there's like negative surprises. Oh, where you're like oh, oh well, yeah, why is no. my character suddenly doing this? No, I, right? yeah, evidently, I mean a positive surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, I think I think surprises are the the cornerstone of making something good. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, my the active word that for me that applies to just it covers so much ground is uh, they should be convincing. They well, should be course, convincing yeah. people, and a lot of that that means a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing would be uh, it shouldn't be a template for like your inserted answers. I'd much prefer if your protagonist was a person on their own. Yeah, you know what I mean. D- uh, uh, ellipsis main character RPG main character style thing. Like we can do better than that these days. Uh, uh, you know? You're talking about the Japanese version of that character because the. The Western RPG version of that is literally you can choose one of the eleven answers yes, in front of you, yes, mm-hmm. yes. and then and then that's like a pure self insert. It is, um, but I like when a main character is not a self insert but a person. Yeah. So the best example of that with that problem also is that Persona Four, uh, uh, Narikami, Yu Narikami, they've decided Atlas has decided that the canon Yu Narikami is the third, is answer. The, is the third answer. Yeah. The one where he says all the fucking the weird, weirdo. goofy shit <laughs> yeah. all the time. Mm. I really like that character. I love the answer number three, Narakami. But the others... In most cases, that's care. not what you're going to mm. get. You yeah. Know? Um, convincing also, of course, means like you're not one-dimensional, you're not two-dimensional. Like, you actually have facets. Exactly. Yeah. And you have things that would be surprising. Yeah. Because if someone's faced with a decision and they, you just go, oh, what archetype is this character? They fall into this type of thing, therefore they'd go this way. That's not how people work. Mm-hmm. Right? And I um, think uh, Dragon Age Inquisition's uh, Iron Bull is the best character in that game because of that. Like, he's a giant, like, highly religious spy. Yeah. That he's talking about, like, oh, man... The fucking creepy shit I used to do back at the brothels back home, and he has all these fucking goofy stories. And you're mm. like, wait, you're a religious mm-hmm. zealot spy of a fascist dictatorship? What? 
you know, and we've, we've like, I feel like we often covered a few uh, examples of, like, the best villains are the ones where, like, you see exactly where they're coming from. And they're you not, disagree. They're not just evil for evil's sake. You disagree, but you see it. But you see why they do what they do and where, you know, and, and like, it's it, it should be the same thing with your protagonist. You should be able to understand why they see things the way they do and why their actions go the way they go and not just because they're good and doing the right thing, yay. Yeah, you know? that's, uh... The Mary Sue. Kill all Mary Sues. Uh, kind of what Willie was going to say, I just think kind of the main broad thing is that your protagonist needs to change or <laughs> yes. learn something. Yeah. yeah. And, like, a, a good... A Unless good, that's the point. Well, yeah, but uh, what I mean is that, like, I'm taking the example of, let's say, uh, Luke from uh, Tales of the Abyss, who is one of the shittiest, <laughs> crappiest, like, protagonists that you hate controlling, mm-hmm. but for a reason... And then something happens, and he becomes a different character, and it makes sense. And then, you know, whatever. It's like, okay, mm-hmm. no, I respect this character now. Versus someone like Kratos, who never learns anything. Yeah. And it's yeah. always a shitbag, no but, matter so, what but at the same time, thing happens. But at the same time, Marv from Sin City never learns anything. But that's, but his that's character. the point. Yeah. That's his character. So Matt, Matt's, Matt's point is a good counterpoint to mine, where it's like, you have to have competency. Actually, they can be a dumb character yeah. if. At some point, preferably early, they get their shit ruined. Yes. And the world is shown to them, and they realize, oh man, I'm dumb. <laughs> no, you, you, these are really like game sort of descriptions. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was, you know, oh, well, I tend to play a lot of video games. Yeah, I mean, like... I hear... I don't write books. Um, Not like Plague. There you go, Plague. Good luck. God bless. Godspeed. Why does he ask these... Do they have a god in Tennessee? Is that... Oh, they got plenty of god. The Yellow oh, okay. King. The yellow. Ki- oh, I heard of him. Isn't that Louisiana? Uh, Lu- yeah. Louisiana. Louisiana. It's a 12 gauge. Hey, dog. you really want to drive Plague crazy? No, I'm not going to finish that barrels. sentence because he will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Plague worships a guy that's wandering around with a gas mask and in boxers. Uh, in the forest. Yeah. <laughs> you mean the mirror? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. And a machete. No, what was he holding? Machete? Not boxers. Briefs. Yeah, briefs. Dirty yeah, briefs. Dirty briefs. That's mm-hmm. true. A gas mask and a fucking machete. Yeah, yeah, that's who he worships. Um, <laughs> Uncle Ted. The first glimpse of, uh, in True Detective of the fucking yeah. thing. Uh, anyway. And the, oh, and the, the... Well, I'm not... The flip to that. The flip to that. Yeah. 